Hello, good morning, and welcome to Ottawa Glendorf High School, where this morning on WOSN we'll bring you a non-conference high school volleyball matchup between the visiting St. Henry Redskins and the homestanding Ottawa Glendorf Titans. I'm Garrett Seawright, joined alongside Chris Ludold, and we'll bring you all the action this morning from the Supreme Court. And Chris, these two teams are awful familiar with one another. They, they played a match a, a week ago today. Yeah, they did in the Crestview Invitational. And Ottawa Glandorf won that. In those invitationals, you play best out of three, and they won that in three with the third set going 28 to 26. However, St. Henry actually outscored Ottawa Glandorf 71 to 66 overall. So we've got some familiar foes with one another, and we've also got some very good volleyball players on the floor tonight. Uh, Maya Ellerbrock, a, a fantastic player for Ottawa Glandorf, and uh, a, a couple of girls that are going to be some focal points for us here in the, in the early going. Well, and she had 18 kills last Saturday in that match against St. Henry. So we are set to serve here in set number one. As the Redskins will send it away as Chloe Gells serves. Sienna Fry has to free ball it back over the net for the Titans. And a kill down the line for Ellie Fullenkamp gets St. Henry on the scoreboard first. That play there is called a backslide where the setter back sets it to the middle hitter and she has a little one foot takeoff. Gells will serve once again. Cuts that one down the far sideline. Fry will free ball over. Set from Lydia Whirling, looking for Mia Kanap. Knee camp, excuse me. Dug out by the Titans. Whirling back set. Nope, tips it over. It's dug out by Reese Van Ossabato of Landor. Fry cuts it down the line. Dug out by Gels. Swung on by Fullen Camp. Ball still alive. A great rally here in the early going of set number one. And now a little wide. And Ottawa Glandorf has tied it at one. And there you got to see Ella Brock's uh, excellent spike approach. Hits the ball very hard. Ella Brock now serving for Ottawa Glandorf. A 5'9 senior. Averages five, just under five kills a set for the Titans. And she'll send it away into the back row. Swing from knee camp into the net. And the Titans tally another one. She also had three ace serves last Saturday against the uh, Redskins. Ellie Brock into the middle of that back row, whirling the set over to Knee Camp. Into the back row to Van Oss, tipped over by Clara Wishmeyer. Yeah, evidently, that ball was completely above the net. But I think they're. I think they're saying that uh, Wishmeyer was in the front row, actually. So Maya Ellerbrock and our official Steve Trout converse. Not sure. Call stands. What that discussion entailed, but. The serve for St. Henry. A swing there by the Titans. Marley Buttlemeyer gets the kill to give them back the one point advantage. So Reese Van Oss serving the libero for Ottawa Landorf. With that back row. Swung on by Maya Antrop. Left it a little wide. That was a good idea to go down line, Garrett, but it's just a little bit wide. Out of Glendorf with a two-point advantage now on the structure outdoor Ohio by all the scoreboard. As Van Oss will send it away once again. She'll put a little too much mustard on that one to give the point to St. Henry. That's our first miss serve of the afternoon. Lydia Whirling, the setter for St. Henry, will serve here for the Redskins in red. Out of Glendorf in their white uniforms. Clara Wishmeyer chases it. Ellerbrock long from the back row, and we're tied at four. So 
to Whirling will serve once again. High knuckleball serve right in the middle of the floor. Back set by Wishmeyer, swung on by Sienna Fry, and that one's a little long as well. Well, a bit uncharacteristic for Ottawa Glandorf to hit two long in a row. So the lead now rests with St. Henry at 5-4. to four. After the service of Lydia Whirling's put a couple of points on the board here for the Redskins. That one goes into the net and we're tied at 5. Well, each team now has missed a serve. Sienna Fry will check out as Addison Bellman subs in. Freshman setter for OG. He's got 559 of their 643 assists. So safe to say she's going to be looking to set up a couple of Titans. Ball rolled over. Set. Tipped down by Caitlin Kimmett. Swung on by Maya Mia Niekamp there for St. Henry. Into the net, and the point goes to OG. A pretty decent crowd here, Garrett, for a Saturday morning afternoon. Well, and St. St. Henry's got a, a pretty long trip here uh, to get to Ottawa Blandorf, so uh, glad to see the St. Henry faithful. It's a big swing there for me. A new camp hits the deck to tie it at six, but uh, an awful lot of Redskin faithful. The Titans showed out as well. We got a, uh, you're right, uh, Chris, got a nice crowd here this morning. Mia Niekamp, who just got the kill for the Redskins, serves into the back row. Back set from Bellman, swung on by Buttlemeyer, saved by the Redskins. Swing air from Gels, they'll set her up again. Dug out by Reese Van Oss of OG. Ellerbrock from the back row, cuts it down the line and tucks it in to give the Titans a 7-6 lead. And it's her second kill. Maya Ellerbrock gets the kill. As Bailey Krause going to serve now for OG. Dug out by St. Henry. Set in the middle to Molly Wendell. Long. And the point goes to the Titans. Not a popular call to St. Henry faithful. And Molly's just a freshman. Kraus serves into the middle of the floor. Whirling the set over to Gels. She takes a crack at it. Dug out by Van Oss. Swing for Ellerbrock. Tips. Tipped by the Redskins and out of play. And OG extends the lead to three. So Bailey Kraus back to serve once again for the Titans. She's a 5-5 junior. Down the line. Out. And the point goes to St. Henry. It stops the bleeding there for just a moment. Well, so far, Garrett, neither team's been able to put much of a run of points together. No. Ellie Fullenkamp back in the game for the Redskins. As Rhea Busher serves. Ellerbrock, the attack, dug out by the Redskins. Attack from the back row from Brianna Mangin. Extends that lead back out to three. For OG. Busher read that hit from Ellerbrock really well, though. She was right there. And, they, and she, of course, you want to pass it up to the target, but actually not a bad job playing that ball. Ellerbrock hits it so hard. And then we get a service ace for the Titans as Claire Kreischer gets the ace. Largest lead of the match so far for the Titans. Four at 11-7. Kreischer serves that one tough to handle. Gels gets the kill off of a Titan and down into that back row. And she picks up her first kill. Three different girls have kills now for St. Henry. Redskins, one of the most storied programs in volleyball, state of Ohio volleyball history. Seven state championships to go along with several other runner-up trophies and appearances at the state tournament. Ronald Landorf tips that one over. Set for Gels. Cuts it down the line and down to shrink that lead back down to two. Oh 
Lauren Tiemann serving for the Redskins. Maya Ellerbrock takes a crack at it. Dug out by Shane Henry. I'll set Gels up on the far sideline. Dug out by Reese Van Oss. Pass over to Ellerbrock, wide of the antenna. Gets it back inside the lines. Tip down by Ellie Fullenkamp of St. Henry. And she shrinks the lead to one. And Fullenkamp now has two kills. There's been some, some tough situations to, to pass, the, pass the ball here where you're working with some tough angles, Chris. And the girls are really hitting it hard, too. And there we get an ace for the Redskins to tie us back up at 11 apiece as Lauren Tiemann's serve hits the wood. Well, a nice four-point run here for the Redskins. Yeah. Tiemann sends it away into the back corner. Ellerbrock, the swing. Dug out by the Redskins. Whirling to Gels, partially blocked. Titans keep it alive. Van Oss rolls it over. Whirling to Gels once again on that far side. The miss hit gives the points to the Titans. So Sienna Fry back in the ball game for OG as Anderson Bellman subs out. And Claire Wishmeyer serving for the Titans. Whirling the set. Gels in the middle, blocked by Caitlin Kimmett, or excuse me, by Katie Kaufman. She gets the block for the Titans to get that lead back out to two. The Titans are really happy to have Katie back. She missed uh, quite a bit of the season. She's been now playing for two uh, weeks. Long serve there by Wishmeyer. Third missed serve for the Titans. Gives that point back to St. Henry as Chloe Gels will serve. Me and Ecamp. Back in the ball game for the Redskins. Playing on that front row. Tough serve there from Gels. Off of Reese Van Oss. And Gels gets the ace. Well, we could see that from our end, Garrett, how that ball floated like a knuckleball. Darted to the left and into the right. That's her 43rd ace, leading a team by a, a, a wide margin. She's a, a nice weapon there as a server. Titans tip it out. And St. Henry. Now has the one-point advantage. Gels another tough serve to handle. Whirling the set for Kneecamp. Finds a spot in the back row. And St. Henry's now got a two-point advantage. Chloe Gels, and you talked about it, Chris. That's just a, that's a knuckleball that just hangs there. She gets another ace as she finds an open spot there in the front row. And a timeout called by the Titans. We'll step aside as well. 16-13 St. Henry leads here on WOSN. Today's scoreboard presented by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. St. Henry, the 16-13 lead on the Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts scoreboard. Chris Chloe Gels getting a couple of aces here. Uh, really, is, that, that's a weapon as a as somebody uh, serving the volleyball at uh, St. Henry is taking advantage of here in this first set. And why not? Yeah, that's an easy point. We got a joust to the net and. Another back row attack call on Ottawa Glandorf. Uh, Wishmeyer is in the back row, and she's not allowed to uh, uh, send that ball over or contact that ball when it's above the net. Gels, another serve. Blocked by St. Henry as Lydia Whirling got a lot of that volleyball. Katie Kaufman trying to tip it over. Whirling sent it right back to her to extend that lead out to five. Quite the run here for the Redskins. Well, setters love it when they get blocks. Gels, the serve. Wishmeyer setting up Ellerbrock in the middle, dug out by Gels. Back set by Whirling, swung on by Ellie Fullenkamp. She's got the kill, and it's now a six-point advantage for St. Henry. And she's got four kills. She leads all players. So Chloe Gels continuing. 
This rally for the Redskins. And now it's about ended <laughs> by Katie Kaufman, tipped it over. I think the Redskins thought that was going to be an ace. Instead, Katie Kaufman caught him nap and just gets a fingertip on the ball. Play hard to the whistle blows. 19 to 14 now the score. It's Maya Ellerbrock will serve for the Titans. Gets into that back row, and Maya Ellerbrock has an ace of her own. Such a tough serve. She also leads the Titans. Like Chloe Gells leads the Redskins in aces. She had 72 coming into today. Make it 73. Ella Brock into the back row, make it 74. And that ball had a little bit of curveball spin on it. If you notice that uh, uh, Morgan started to move to her left and then had to go back to her right. Yep. She got tripped on that. Ella Brock whirling, looking for knee camp tips. Saved by the Titans. As Buttlemeyer gets a swing at it, whirling. Looking for Fullenkamp, her fifth kill of the set. We approach the final stages here of set number one. St. Henry with a 2016 advantage on the Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts scoreboard. Since they were down 11 to 7, they've really taken control of the match. A back set to Sienna Fry, the lefty gets the swing pancaked by Lauren Tiemann, but it goes out of play. And Adam McLandorf clawing back here in set number one. This Fry's first kill. Reese Van Oss serving for the Lady Titans. Into that back row. Back set looking for Maya Ontrop. Dug out by Clara Wishmeyer. Joust at the net. Ontrop sends it back to OG. Pushed over by the Titans. Whirling will tip it over and down. Lydia whirling the kill. Well, she has a kill on the block. So, see, coach, I can play in the front <laughs> row. Whirling a 5'8 junior. Averages just over nine assists a set for the Redskins. She's got several here in this opening set. And now she'll send it away. Back set to Fry off a of Red Skinner down. Shrinks the lead to three. really nice having a left-handed player that can play on the right side in the front row. Being especially six foot doesn't hurt either. And yeah, I was going to say, just <laughs> especially if they're six foot and a freshman. She's that good now. She's got a couple more years to keep getting better as Mia Niekamp sends one to the back row. Van Osh tries to go chase, but the kill goes to Mia Niekamp. And a lead back out to four for the Redskins, trying to close out set number one here at 22-18 on the Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alt Scoreboard. That's her second kill. Those outside hitters from uh, from uh, St. Henry are just so good. They just are great bookends. They even resemble each other physically. I mean, they're just very similar. Tip over, blocked by Maya Ontrop. Makes it 23-18 as Mia Niekamp serves. Another timeout called by the Titans. We'll keep it here, 23-18. The score is St. Henry, and Chris, you mentioned earlier that I think Ottawa Glendorf had an 11-7 lead at one point, and St. Henry really has kind of controlled the match from, from that point on. Well, they've served tough, and uh, OG has not passed that well off the serve, and that's the key right there. You get that first pass off serve, you give yourself a chance. And really, and you're right, you know, when those setters have to go chase the that, that first pass, it, it, you're, you're really kind of setting yourself up to, all right, let's just get it over and kind of live to fight another day almost. And when you do that against a team like St. Henry, your chances of getting the point are pretty slim. Redskins 13-5 and five coming into today's match, 4-3 and three in the Midwest Athletic Conference, while Ottawa Glandorf 11-8. They're in third place, though, in the Western Buckeye League at 6-2. and two. OG, by the way, 4-1 and one this season at home trying to tally another victory here against these Redskins that they beat last week at the Crestview invite. Today we be playing best of five and not best of three. Mia and Ecamp serves into the net. Maya Ontrop got that one on her uh, right hand <laughs> as she didn't expect it coming from behind and uh, kind of shook that off. As, oh, okay, didn't. 
Didn't see that coming. But the point goes to the Titans as they try to stay alive here in set number one at 23-19. Claire Kreischer. Gets the ace for the OG Titans. It's her second ace, and there's two quick points. And this serve and an ace. That's Bailey Kraus with the ace. My, my apologies there. Bailey Kraus leaves that one a little long, though. And now it's set point for the Redskins at 24-20. Busher serving for St. Henry. Libero, lefty, just got it over the net. Big swing from Maya Ellerbrock and down. I love her spike approach, she's so good. She puts a lot of energy into it and then has a great arm swing. 24-21. There's now Claire Kreischer on to serve. Four out of a Blandorf. Trying to close that gap. Still set point. As the Redskins dump it over. Ellerbrock, the attack. Dug out by St. Henry. They're looking for Gels on that far side and down. And Chloe Gels has ended set number one. 25-21. St. Henry takes the first set. Second set, gap. Se second set action coming back on WOSN. Today's scoreboard presented by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts bring your indoors out. Set two about to get underway here. And Chris, you got some first set stats for us? Yeah, for St. Henry, 11 kills led by the middle hitter Ellie Fullenkamp with five and Chloe Gells with three. They had three ace serves, Gells with two of them. They missed two serves and had one block. For the Titans, they had eight kills led by uh, Maya Ellerbrock had four of those and four ace serves, and she also had two of those ace serves. They missed four serves and had one block. The stats were not too different, um, but just enough for the four points. St. Henry takes set one, 25 to 21. So Clara Wishmeyer will serve for the Titans. Left it long, and the first point of set number one goes to St. Henry. No, you don't want to start that way. Yeah, especially coming out of the timeout, yeah. Although both these teams, they do serve tough, and when you serve tough, you're going to miss some. Chloe well, Gell is serving for St. Henry. Had several aces there in that first set. Dung out by the, Titan, by the Redskins after the swing from Sienna Fry, but we're tied at one. Marley Buttemeyer back in the game for the Titans. Maya Ellerbrock set to serve for OG. Ellerbrock to high toss. Dug out by the Redskins. Whirling tips it over. Dug out by OG. Buttemeyer cuts it down the line. Dig to Busher. Set to knee camp. Dug out by Van Oss. Buttemeyer just has to tip it over after the tough set. Whirling. Tries to set up Fullenkamp. Saved by the Titans. Tipped by Buttlemeyer. Whirling tries to tip it over right at the net. She'll cross court pass to Niekamp. Ooh, Big nice dig, dig, by, dig Von. by Van Oss. Yeah, she's good. And a long swing by Ellerbrock. What a rally there for both sides. A couple of big swings and a couple of nice digs as well. Yeah, that was our best point so far today. 2-1, to one, St. Henry the advantage. She go cross court with the surf. Fullenkamp. Fry, the left-handed swing. Dug out by the Redskins. Kneecamp into that back corner. Buttlemeyer, the swing. Long. And it's a two-point advantage for the Redskins. Look forward to go cross court with the serve again. Nope. Fullenkamp into the back row. Ellerbrock to dig. Whirling, cross court pass to Niekamp. Big block by Sienna Fry and 
Katie Kaufman combined to close the door for OG. Second block the afternoon, uh, on the afternoon for the Titans. Reach Van Oss now back to serve for the Titans. The libero wearing the blue jersey. Redskins able to set up Meekamp. She tips it over. Van Oss the pass to Ellerbrock from behind the 10-foot line. Nice dig. Meekamp to swing, and she finds the floor. Mia gets her third kill. Molly Wendell back in the ball game. Lauren Tiemann will take a seat on the bench. Redskins set to serve. As Whirling gets the ace, Whirling really just tucks it inside the line, finds an open spot on the floor, extends that lead back out to three. 5-2 St. Henry on the structure outdoor Ohio by all scoreboard. Whirling sends it away again. Ellerbrock receives. Van Oss rolls it over. Whirling cross court pass to me and he can't dug out by OG. He got a whistle. Like St. Henry might have been in the net. So the point goes to the Titans. Now, there's two times when you can are allowed to touch the net. One is your hair can touch the net. These girls have long <laughs> hair, so if they swing around and their hair goes in the net, that's okay. And you can also, if the ball forces the net to touch you, if the ball hits the net and the net touches you as a result of that, that's okay too. And yeah, Camp tallies another kill there for the Redskins to make it 6-3. So essentially, you get a, a grace period there where you know if, if you you have no other choice but to kind of be up under the net or into the net. If the ball forces, if the ball forces the net into you. Oh, okay. Like Got, if the gotcha. ball would come from the other side and and hit the net and force it into you, that's okay. Other than that, you can't touch the net. You get a double contact there. Yep. So two errors there on the Redskins have allowed Adam and Landorf to shrink the lead back down to six to four. As Bailey Kraus on to serve for the Titans. Bailey Kraus, a 5-5 junior, left it short, and it's 7-4 St. Henry. Busher the serve into that back corner. And that's the ace. It's her first ace today. She's one of the few players for the Redskins that serves from that left side. Redskins doubling up OG here in his second set, eight to four. Back set, long, or a little wide, I guess I should say, for Caitlin Kimmett. Got a good swing at it, but she did. Left it just wide. Five-point advantage now for St. Henry. As Busher gets it into the back corner. And go to set up Maya Ellerbrock. Dug out by the Redskins. Whirling. Gels. She gets it off a tight and down. Nice little run here for St. Henry. 10-4 the score. Timeout called by out of the Vandor head coach Amber Miller. will step aside as well. 10-4. St. Henry leads in set number two on WOSN. Today's scoreboard presented by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. 10-4 here in set number two, St. Henry with the advantage. Well, right now, OG just has one kill and two missed serves in this set, so it hasn't gone well for him. On the other hand, St. Henry has four kills and two aces, no missed serves. Busher the serve, dug out by Ellerbrock. I'll set her up on that near sideline, and she gets a kill. That's pretty much textbook of what the Titans wanted to see out of the timeout, isn't it, Chris? Oh, exactly. You know, get a good pass. Uh, Busher's a very good server, but get a good pass. 
If that's the case, let's get it to Ella Brock and get that kill. Claire Kreischer, the serve. Dug out by Gels. Back set to Molly Wendell. I believe it might have been touched at the net. It was touched at the net. That's yep. the signal from the official Steve Trout. He will give Wendell the kill. It's her first kill today. 11 to 5 the score. Lauren Tiemann on to send it away into that back left corner. And it's sent right back down to the floor from Chloe Gell. She climbs the ladder and puts it home. Good vertical jump, long arms. Right at the net, yep. Chloe Gells just sends it straight to the deck. Yep, five kills now for her. Lauren Tiemann on to serve again. Into the middle of the floor, diving safe. Ellerbrock tipped by the Redskins. Whirling, back set to Fulham Camp and down. That's her sixth kill. Yeah, you mentioned that serve was in the middle of the floor. The, the girls get a, a, a serving zone from the coach as far as where to serve the ball. So if the coach wants uh, zone three, which is where that went, um, she hit the zone perfectly. Titans tip. Teeman. The tip blocked by Ottawa Glandorf as Katie Kaufman got all of that one to reject the attempt there from the Redskins. And that's their second block in this set, third overall. So the Titans get their serving zone from one of the assistant coaches, and, and St. Henry gets their serving zone from Coach Rosenbeck. Maya Ellerbrock sends it right to the floor, right in the middle of the floor for the Titans, and they're trying to climb back here as they trail now 13 to 7. Claire Wishmeyer serves. Yells the swing, yells the kill. And that's her sixth. Redskins doubling up the Titans again, 14-7. As Chloe Yells will now serve for the ladies in red. Into that back row. Ellenbrock receives. Fry the swing. Blocked by St. Henry. Lydia Whirling and Ellie Fonkamp combined for the block. To make it 15-7. Ellenbrock from the back row. Cut it off the side of her hand, but still a tough swing. Mia Niekamp, the attack. Sienna Fry, the swing for OG. Tucks it inside the line. Fry's got four kills now. She trails only uh, Ellerbrock on, on the Titan side. Ellerbrock back on to serve. And, and really, I think OG's done a nice job of still getting the ball to Maya Ellerbrock, even when she's been in the back row. Ellerbrock into the middle of the back row. Whirling, back set, rejected by Kaufman. The blockeroni and cheese right at the net. That's a big play by Katie Kaufman. So was that Andy Lynch or was that Aaron Matthews? That the was a blockeroni and little cheese. Bit of both. Is that a little both of those guys? Yeah. <laughs> Anytime you get a blockeroni and cheese, you take it. And then Ellerbrock serves into the net to make it 16-9. I could use a little blockeroni and yeah, cheese right you now. Get these, it's after lunchtime already. Yeah, you get already. those 10 a.m. <laughs> JV starts. Yeah. So you're not sure when when you're going to be out of here. Didn't, don't eat it ahead of time. Double hit there for the Titans. Setters or anybody have to receive the ball with both hands simultaneously, and they have to release the ball simultaneously with both hands. Fulham camp into the middle of the floor. Swing by Buttlemeyer, dug out by the Redskins. Whirling the set to knee camp. She gets it off of Tutton and down. From here, I couldn't tell, Garrett, which side that ball landed on, which side of the net. 18-9 the score. We'll keep it here on the timeout. As the Titans now out of timeouts here in set number two. And really, things just have not gone their way here in set number two, Chris. 
Well, they've blocked pretty well. They do have three blocks for points, um, but the rest of their game is, is not typical Titan volleyball. So 18-9, to nine, what is the message to, from Trisha Rosenbeck to her St. Henry squad right now? Well, right now, um, you know, it's we can't trade points yet. We don't want to do that. We want to take them and keep the momentum going into set three. And I think Ottawa Glandorf, you know, you're saying, I've said this many times, if you can't win this set, let's at least get some momentum into set three. So after seeing each other a, a week ago today, how much can you learn from, from a, you know, a three set match at, a, at a, in an invitational and have to take that to, to the next week? Well, you can learn a lot. I mean, I'm sure they've videoed the game and have watched the video this week. And so, and so you can learn from that. You know, does a girl hit cross court? Does she hit down? Where do they serve? But, you know, it's like any other sport. You just have to get it done on the court. Full and camp, the ace for the Redskins to extend the lead to 10. It's 19-9, St. Henry. Serve it in the back row. Set by Wishmeyer. Trying to get it up to Fry. Mistimed it. And it's 20 to 9. Ellie Fullencamp, a six foot sophomore, continues to serve for the Redskins. Received by Ellerbrock. Back set to Fry. Dug out by the Redskins, but they'll send it back over wide. And the point goes to OG to stop that St. Henry rally. from Van Oss into the back corner. Whirling, a long set, Meyer on drop over and down. Just her first kill. You know, one of the things you asked about, or you asked me a second ago, was, you know, what can you get from playing them the week earlier? Mm -hmm. You can watch that tape and see, you know, where, who serves where, and, um, and, and right there was an example. Of course, the coaches can change that up and give them a different serving zone. Meyer Ellerbrock, the kill there for the Titans, got it off the fingertips of a red skin and down. Third in this set, seventh overall. Still a 10 point lead for the Redskins. Well, this is her last, uh, Ellerbrock's last back row rotation. So she'll get back in the front row after this. Madison Bellman serving for the Titans. Whirling. Just pushed over by Morgan Boimer. Swung on by Marley Buttlemeyer, and she gets the kill. Shrinking the lead to nine. It's her second kill. So Bellman back to serve once again for the Titans. In the middle of the back row, whirling. Back set to Molly Wendell down the line, and good. Boy, a nice downline hit. Molly not Wendell, that, a 5'10 freshman. Not that easy for a right-hander on the right side. So Mia Kadefke. Or Mia Niekamp, excuse me. Serving. That one hits the net. Just the first missed serve in this set for St. Henry. 22-13. Renskins trying to close out set number two. And Mangan back in for the Redskins. In the back right corner. Bailey Krause will serve. Down the far line. Whirling to Ontrop. Maya Ontrop with a second kill of the set. Five different girls have kills for St. Henry. Six different girls have kills for St. Henry. I didn't see whirling on my stat sheet. Ryan Busher the serve. Ryan Busher the ace. It's now set point for the Redskins at 24-13. And Ryan Busher will try to close it out to Libero, serving for the Redskins. Set from Bellman, Ellerbrock down. Redskin faithful, thought it was out. But Ellerbrock tucks it inside the line. So a 10-point advantage for St. Henry on Matt, or set 
point, I should say. A swing into the back row. Worling looking for Gels, blocked by the Titans. Ryan Busher, the pass to Molly Ford, or excuse Molly Wendell. And that's out. And the Titans stay alive. Well, one point at a time. 24-15. Serve from Kreischer. Wendell looking for Gels. Blocked. Out. And St. Henry wins set number two. 25-15. The conclusion of set number two. We'll come back with third set action. You're on WOSN. Today's scoreboard presented by Structure Outdoor Ohio by all such Structure Outdoor Ohio. Bring your indoors out here at Seawright. Join alongside Chris Luthold here for this non-conference volleyball matchup between the St. Henry Redskins and the Ottawa Glandorf Titans. And Chris, uh, St. Henry with a two games to none lead. And, and give us a little statistical recap there of set number two. Well, the Redskins had 12 kills led by Gills with four and Kneekamp with three. Uh, they had four ace serves and Busher had two of those. They missed only one serve and had one block. For the Titans, they had eight kills, led by Ellerbrock with four and Fry with three. They missed three serves. They did have three blocks on the plus side there, but statistically, for the most part, uh, the Redskins were the winners not only on the scoreboard, but also in the stats. So set number three about to get underway as Chloe Gells will serve for the Redskins. Again, they lead two to nothing in the games. Out of Glendorf beat St. Henry at the Crest U invite last Saturday in three games. Two games to one. Yells a serve into the back left corner, and the Redskins start set number three with an ace. And that's her third ace today. That's a tough ball to serve. It is. Receive, Chris. And she backs up a ways, too, so that ball's going, you know, it's probably going 65 feet. Gels, another serve. Ellerbrock up to the front. Turned by Bellman. The swing from Fullenkamp dug out by Whirling. Bellman, the set to Ellerbrock off a red skin and down to tie it long. And that's her ninth kill today. Maya Ellerbrock averages four kills a set, so she's right at her average. Yeah, she's at four in each set. Average, average of four, standard deviation of zero. <laughs> Redskins see the ball hit on their side after a miscommunication. And OG has the two-one advantage here early in set number three. Kreischer the serve once again, down the line, dug out, whirling. Neekamp has to roll it over. She gets the kill anyway. Kill number six. Ties it at two on the structure out there, Ohio, by all scoreboard. Two to two. These tri Titans try to stave off elimination. Ellie Fullenkamp serving. Swing from Ellerbrock off a of Brent Skinner down to give the Titans the advantage. Clara Wishmeyer now serving for OG. Sends it away short. Pancake by the Redskins. Knee camp. The swing and tucks it inside the line. Second kill in this set, seven overall. Nia Camp Ties it at three. Now Lydia Whirling back to serve for the Redskins. Spins the ball in her hands. Sends it away. 
swing from Sienna Fry gets the kill for Ottawa Glandor. The six foot freshman lefty gets another one. Well, she's going to end her career with a lot of kills. She's got <laughs> six today. And, uh, I'll just see in the beginning. She's averaging just under three a set, and she's played an awful lot for the Titans here throughout the, her freshman season. Eller Brock, the ace. That's her third ace today. Nothing really fancy about that one, just put it in the perfect spot. Well, it's very hard. It's got that top spin on it that just brings the ball down at, right at the end. Another ace for Maya Ellerbrock. You know it's a good serve if you're getting an ace on Busher. Ryan Busher leads St. Henry and Diggs. And tough one to handle there. It's Ottawa Blandorf out to an early 6-3 lead in set number three. Ellerbrock gets that one inside the line as well. Again, that top, that top spin brought it right down. Line judges right on top of it. First time out of the afternoon called by St. Henry. We'll step aside as well. 7-3, Ottawa Glandorf the advantage here in set number three on WOSN. Out of the timeout, Ottawa Glandorf with a 7-3 advantage here after a couple of aces by Maya Ellerbrock. And she's, uh, she, she's just a, such a fantastic server, Chris. Yes, she is. And of those seven points, she's got three aces and two kills. So she's got five of those seven points. She'll send it away again. That one hits the rafters here at the Supreme Court. Yeah, so another ace. Comes back to the floor. Ella Brock extends the lead to five with another ace. The, raster, the rafters have de decent height here, but when that ball goes up pretty hard, it comes down very quickly. Ella Brock, another ace. Nine to three. As she continues. This fantastic run for the Titans. She'll send it away again. St. Henry, another one. Well, and you, you try to instill in your players when they're receiving a serve like that, you want them to think, I want the ball to come to me because I don't want her to miss it. I want it to come to me because I want to end this battle with me making a good pass. And another. But, Ace for my Ellerbrock. That, that's hard to do. I mean, it's it's hard to get that mentality in your girls, but that that's what you want. You you know, so so you you'd rather make a good pass, set, and kill rather than have her serve it into the net. Easier said than done. Ball tipped back over by the Titans, and a lift or a prolonged contact is now the official. I got an education and. My volleyball vernacular. <laughs> but, uh, prolonged contact there by the Titans to stop the run, but they now have a seven point advantage. Me and Ecamp to serve. Dug out by Ellerbrock. Back set to Sienna Fry. Blocked. That one hits the Raptors. And it was wide of the antenna. Camp serves once again. The six foot senior. Dug out by Ellerbrock. They'll try to set up. Kaufman, she left it wide. And the point goes to St. Henry. A little bit too far. Not a bad idea to tip. I think maybe the tip was out of necessity that for because of the timing, but um, but tipping in that area is not a bad idea. Redskins cut the lead to five. Fry will take a left-handed swing at it. Tipped back up by Entrop. Gels from the far side. She gets it inside the line and down. So after the run by Ottawa Glandorf, St. Henry comes back with one of their own. A break in the action and a break here on WOSN. Back at... The Supreme Court after an Ottawa Glandorf timeout. Titans with an 11 7 advantage over St. Henry here in set number three. St. Henry leading two games to one. I'm Garrett Seawright, joined alongside Chris Luthold, and that's me and Ecamp serving for the Redskins. A back set to Sienna Fry. She gets a kill for the Titans. She's got seven kills now. Trails only uh, her teammate Ellerbrock on the Titans side of the net. So out of the timeout. 
That's what you want to see if you're a Titan fan. Is Reese Van Oss on to serve? Yells the dig. Whirling has to get it to Wendell. Get a double contact. So Whirling, when she tried to send it over, didn't get it clean. Point goes to OG. Van Oss, the high short serve, dug out by Busher, sent over, but then put right back down on the floor by Caitlin Kimmett. So is it a block or is it a kill? I, I you're you're, always, the, you're the expert. Yeah, if they direct it down with their hands like she did, I always give them a kill. Well, Van Oss is OG doubles up St. Henry at 14-7. Serves just wide. And that'll break the momentum for the Titans. No for touch, the time boy. Being. She almost touched it. I'm not sure which girl that was, but she almost touched the ball, pulled her arms back right to the last minute. Raya Busher back on to serve. And as Chris mentioned earlier, she's one of the few Redskins that serves from the left side. She gets into that back quarter. Set by Wishmeyer to Ellerbrock. And Maya Ellerbrock has another kill. Sienna Fry checks out of the ball game in exchange for Addison Bellman, who's on to serve for the Titans. And Addison Bellman, who had, you know, 85% of the assists for the Titans, really hasn't played a whole lot of setter today, Chris. Well, they've been trading off. They've been running two setters with Wishmeyer and Bellman. Um, in, in recent weeks, and I, I think it can work pretty well with them. They're both uh, both really good setters. How rare is it to, for for a team to to generally play with two setters to, to play with that uh, that that alignment? Uh, I've seen it a few times this year. It really depends on your team, and if you've got somebody that's remarkably better than the other setter, and and you just go ahead and run a five-one with one setter. So it, it's not that uncommon. Long hit there by the Titans, makes it 15-10. St. Henry's closed the gap a little bit at a time here as Lauren Tiemann on to serve. She gets that one into the net. Just the first missed serve for St. Henry in this set. Marley Buttemeyer subs out as Claudia Mag checks in for the first time. She'll send it away. Claudia Mag in the middle of the back row. She gets the ace for the Titans. Did you see that ball float? That it ball did. moved as much as any ball today. Wow, it just moved first, first to the left and then to the right. Mag, another serve. Another one. Yells will have to swing at it. Dug out by Van Oss at the net. Whirling tips it into the campfire and now. Uh, she wants to make sure the statistician gets that kill. That's her second today. <laughs> 17-11. Redskins trying to close the gap as Chloe yells. Dug out by Van Oss. Long run for the Titans. Nice and they job. get it over. Whirling tries to get another kill. It's another nice save by OG. Whirling does get the kill. Two in a row for the setter to cut the lead to five. Bellman did a really nice job getting that ball over the net. That was almost from that angle, almost impossible to get it over the net between yeah. the antennas. So Chloe Gills, the 5'10 sophomore, will send it away once again, trying to shrink the lead. Whirling, set to Fulham Camp. She gets it inside the line. Been a little quiet since the first set. That's her seventh kill. She had five in the first set. Gels will serve once again. Into the back corner. Titans able to get it over. Whirling the set in the middle to Mia me, me Camp. Titans play it off the rafters and keep it alive. Ellerbrock rolls it over. Whirling tips it down once again. Number three. 
Lydia Whirling has cut the lead to three. It's 17-14. A timeout called by the Titans. We'll step aside as well. 17-14. OG leads in set number three on WOSN. Today's scoreboard presented by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alflex Structure Outdoor Ohio. Bring your indoors out. St. Henry trailed by as many as seven here in this third set. Now has trimmed the lead to three. It's 17-14 as Chloe Gells will serve it away. And she got just the top of the net enough to send it back and not roll over. That's a quick point for the Titans. One of the seven times you're not supposed to miss a serve coming out of a timeout. But as I said before, both teams serve tough. And if you want to serve a lollipop serve, I suppose you can, but you're probably going to get the ball hit back at you pretty hard. <laughs> Claire Kreischer, the serve for OG. Redskins set up an Ellie full in camp, and she finds a spot on the floor. Eighth kill for her. 18-15. With the Titans trying to force a game four. Fallen camp to serve. Right into the middle of the floor, and she gets the ace. And the lead, sec lead down to two. That's her second, uh, second ace today. Fallen camp to sophomore. As Bailey Krause checks back in for OG. Fallen camp into the middle of the back row. The set from Bellman to Ellerbrock, dug out goes over the net. Ellerbrock another swing at it. And a point to OG. That's her third kill in this set and her 11th overall. 1916. A little confusion on, is there a little confusion on the court? There. That was a point to OG, so. Yeah, but Trisha Rosenbeck, I believe, had asked, hey, we're or are they in the net? And I don't believe she got, she got the answer she wanted. Clara Wishmeyer, the serve. Whirling the set. Kneekamp, the swing, dug out by Reese Van Oss. Ellerbrock, the attack, rejected. Back set from Wishmeyer. Sienna Fry, that one hits the deck. Kill number eight, third in the set. 20 to 16, Titans with the advantage. And serving, looking to close out game number three. It's a really good rotation for OG right here with uh, both Fry and Ellerbrock and Kaufman in the front row. Kneekamp didn't get a whole lot of it, but got enough. Tipped over the head of Kaufman. Swing by Kneekamp, dug out by the Titans. Can they get it over? Ellerbrock, Wishmeyer attacks. Whirling tips it over, dug out by Van Oss. Fry the swing. Nice dig. Whirling cross court pass to Neekamp. Didn't get a lot of it, got enough of it. A prolonged contact gives the point. Or, yep, a prolonged contact gives the point to St. Henry. That was a good point there, both sides. Good defense. Hitting the ball hard. Lydia Whirling, who's got a couple of kills here in this set, serving for the Redskins. Van Oss receives. Somehow the Titans get that over. Nice roll. It's Morgan Boyder. Sends it across for St. Henry. Swing by Fry. Finds a spot on the floor. To grow that lead back out to four. 21-17. Every time St. Henry has got a little bit momentum their way, Chris, out of a Gleidorf is answered. Well, you want this. You want that to happen if you're Otto Glandorf. Ellerbrock to swing. That's a tough serve to receive. Redskins can't get it over. Timeout called by Trisha Rosenbeck. St. Henry head coach will step aside as well. 22-17 the score. Titans with the advantage in set number three on WOSF. Out of a Glandorf looking to close out set number three as they lead 22-17 over St. Henry. And Maya Ellerbrock, who leads them in aces, serving for OG. She had quite the run there earlier in the set of aces. See if she can't close it out here. Swings that one. And the old announcer, Jinx got her. 
Left it long, and the point goes to the Redskins. Good timeout. Nanny Camp serves into the back row. Wishmeyer, the pass to Buttlemeyer. She gets it in. Marley Buttlemeyer, the kill. A 5-9 freshman on the floor. It's her third kill, uh, fourth kill today. Reese Van Ock serving for the Titans. Need two more points to force a game four. Yells. And that ball hits the deck. Oh, set point here for the Titans. At 24-18. Van Oss, the lollipop serve, the ace, and the set win. 25-18, set number three goes to OG. We'll play a set four when we return here on WOSN. Set four about to begin here between Otto Glandorf and St. Henry. I'm here at Sea Right, joined alongside Chris Luhold, bringing you all the action here from the Supreme Court in Ottawa. And a nice bounce back there in set number three for the Titans, Chris. Yeah, they ended up with just 10 kills, but eight ace serves. So almost one third of their points came from eight uh, from ace serves. Six of those by Maya Uh Kill wise, Sienna Fry had four. They had uh, two missed serves, but no blocks. And for the Redskins, they had eight kills, led by the setter Whirling with three, uh, two ace serves, uh, two miss serves, no blocks. But I'm sure if you told Trisha Rosenbeck that, hey, you're you're the person with the most kills there in set number three is going to be <laughs> going to be your setter, she's probably not just thrilled with no, that news. No, because you want, but that's just how the and I, and, and they Whirling were they were timely. They yes. were and some of them were out of necessity because the ball was set high and close to the top of the net. Now we've got a little. Yep, you don't want this miscommunication. Yeah, coaches turn in a lineup each set, and what she turned in appears to be not what the R2 has on the floor. I guess it. I guess it's okay. And so. You don't have to list your libero on that lineup. Of she can come and go as she pleases, yes. correct? Yeah. So we got everything sorted out. But she can only serve in one one spot of the six spots. She can only serve in oh, one okay. location. So set number one begins with a ace for Claire Kreischer. That's her second ace. I think she had an ace to start the game today. Kreischer left that one long and we're tied it long. Well, Mark on that, or uh, Mark, <laughs> uh, Garrett on that uh, third set, you always want to win the third set because if you win set three, you either win the match or you live to play another one. So that, that third one is the one to win. Is the one you want to win. It's the dig from Reese Van Osco is in a rafter, so Chloe Gels gets an ace of her own to make it 2-1. That's her fourth ace. Another ace for Gels. Put it perfectly right in front of the defender for Ottawa Glandorf. There have been four points so far in this set. Three of them have been ace serves, and one was a miss serve. Make it three straight aces for Gels. And now OG's going to shift a little bit on their serve receive. Yells the serve. That bound by Manos. Ellerbrock the swing. Pusher the dig. Whirling. Knee camp. Cuts it down the line into the rafters. Manos plays it from the rafters. Ellerbrock blocked, but it's out of play. The point to OG.
Jaitlin Kim at the serve for OG. And the ace for OG. Redskins thought it was going to sail out of bounds, and it tucks just on top of that line. Kim gets her first ace today. Caitlin Kim, it's a 5'11 sophomore. Where's number 24 there for the Titans? Another knuckleball serve. Whirling, cross court pass to knee camp, tips, hits the candy cane. And that point gives, goes to OG, and we're tied at four. Doesn't have a hook on it, though. You know, it would make things a little bit more interesting yeah, if it did. If you had a hook there, we got would, it, would it hook in or hook out? Uh, I, I, hook like, in. I like hooking in. Yeah. And another ace there for the Titans as Caitlin Kimmett gives them their first lead of set number three. Number four, excuse me, set number four. Tough serve there for Kimmett. Back set. You know, double contact. All the points in this uh, set so far have come very quickly. Ten points and, and just yeah. very quick points. Kimmett continues to serve for OG. Into the back right corner. Whirling. Knee camp. Swing. Blocked. Titans say it hit the line. It did. And it's 7-4. Another quick point. Kimmett down the line, received by Neekamp. Back set to Wendell, excuse me, to Fullenkamp. Dug out by the Titans. Ellerbrock, the big swing. Busher into the rafters, played by the Redskins. Neekamp swing is down. Me and Neekamp gets the kill. Nice job by Bomber to play that ball out of the rafters. She gets the assist. And, and, and it is tough. You get that white ball up there in the rafters in the shade and the shadows is uh, served by Fullenkamp. Dug out by the Titans. Swing by Neekamp off of a Titan and down. As Katie Kaufman got her hand on it, but it sailed wide. That's her ninth kill today. St. Henry's climbed all the way back here to make it 7-6. to six. Fullenkamp serves again. That one, the ace for Fullenkamp, has us tied at seven. She's got, she's got three aces today. Van Oster Ding after the Fullenkamp serve. Ellerbach attacks. Remains in play as Neekamp gets it just inside that back line to give St. Henry the 8-7 advantage. A nice little run here for St. Henry. Fallen camp to knuckleball, sir. Sir. And they get the point to the Redskins to make it 9-7. I think a little miscommunication on what kind of a set was going to be made there between uh, setter and hitter. So Ellie Fullenkamp continues to serve. That one, I, oh, I, I believe that hit a Titan. The line judge said it was out. The officials say it didn't hit her. They're, they discussed it, though. They, they are miked, and so I could see uh, Mr. Trout's talking there. So they did discuss that. The two officials did. So they both agreed that it was a, a miss serve. Clara Wishmeyer serves for OG. 9-8 to score. Ontrop tries to tip it over. Dug out by Van Oss. Back set. Fry. Left-handed swing. Blocked. Saved by the Redskins. Swing from Lauren Tiemann. And the Titans are across the line. I think that was the call. I, d I didn't see who it was. Where the Titan logo is in the middle of the court, it's got to be so difficult to see that line. Your foot can go over the line as long as part of the foot is on or above the line. So it's only a violation when the entire foot is across the line, or if any part of the body other than the foot or a hand is across the net. I hate to ask, but is, are there makeup calls in volleyball? 
Like an uh, arm basketball? Or? I, probably not. Block. Because everybody can see. Swung on by the Redskins. Knee camp, the kill, after getting it off the Titan and down. And that, that's her fourth kill in this set already. This set's really moving along pretty quickly. Timeout called by the Titans. We'll step aside as well. 11 8 here in set number four on WOSN. Set number four here at the Supreme Court, St. Henry, looking to close out today's match, leading 11 to 8 over out of Glendorf. Titans looking to force a set number five. Whirling the serve, whirling the kill, or excuse me, the ace. Well, the serve received for both teams has really dropped off in this set. We have uh, we have eight ace serves already of the wow. 20 points. Whirling serves again. Too long on that one. And that's, uh, we've got a couple of miss serves as well. Yeah, we? we have three miss serves overall. Yeah, two for uh, St. Henry and one for Otto Glendorf. Maya Ellerbrock, who's had a fantastic day behind the service line, on again to serve for OG. And she has eight aces today. That one's in the rafters, make a nine. Well, you can see that ball hits the rafters and it just changes. The, the direction change, comes down very direction, quickly. Speed, yep. just and it, it, that's, it's just so difficult to play that off the off the roof. Yep. Titans trail by two. Ellerbrock that top spin on that serve into the rafters again. Neekamp gets it over, but it's long. And here we, we talked about it earlier, Chris. It's not like the the roof here is. You know, low by any stretch of the imagination. It's just it's, you're hitting the ball so hard, it's bound to go up there from yeah, time to time. Yeah, th there are low, there are higher ones, but uh, but but this is not incredibly low. Knee camp this swing. Van Oss dig. Buttlemeyer will roll it over. Whirling set to Wendell. Save and a point goes to St. Henry. So the lead is two for the Redskins as Chloe Gell's back in the game. Me and Ecamp serving. Bottlemeyer swings, dug out by Ecamp. Pulled back in, Ecamp will roll it over, but it's approaching the Titan bench, and the point goes to OG. So 13-12 on the structure outdoor Ohio by all scoreboard. Reese Van Oss looking to tie it up for OG. Gels nice the swing. Big swing for Chloe Gels. The 5-10 sophomore has another kill. I like how Whirling pulled that ball. That ball was going to be in the net or at the top of the tape, and she did a nice job of pulling that back and, and uh, allowing uh, Gels to get a nice hit. Ryan Busher the serve. Ryan Bush with the ace. That's her third today. Sixth ace serve for St. Henry in this set. Lead has grown to three for the Redskins at 15-12. Busher sends it away once again. Back set from Wishmeyer. Fry had all sorts of room on that side of the floor. Well, no block there at all. 15-13. She picks up her 10th kill. Addison Bellman on to serve for the Titans, the freshman. Redskins have to just get it over. Set. And the ball is down for Caitlin Kimmett. And we are tied at 15. Or excuse me. Uh, I think we're tied at 15, right? Or is it? Now sometimes the scoreboard people get that <laughs> point up there so fast that Chloe yells the swing dug out by the Titans. 
Buttlemeyer hits the deck, and now we're tied at 15. Sixth kill for Buttlemeyer. Boy, the noise is picked up, too. I'm not sure what Audible Glandorf, maybe the Audible Glandorf girls soccer team I just think, got here. Yeah, so it's, it's going to be loud. The ball received into the rafters. Gellis tries to get a swing on it. It's an ace for the Titans, and they take the 16-15 advantage here in set number four after the ace by Bellman. Timeout called on the floor. We'll stay here. 16-15 Titans with the advantage. And this has been a, quite the back and forth fourth set, Chris. Well, and it's, again, the serve receive has just dropped a little bit. Uh, or the serving has gotten tougher. One of the two. Ottawa Glendorf <laughs> has five ace serves. And uh, St. Henry has six ace serves. So 11 of the 31 points have come on ace serves. That's very unusual for teams that play at this level. Well, and especially for that to kind of just change here in the fourth set rather than, you know, you, you, you yeah, start, the, you start the match it? at yeah. you know, 11 o'clock in the morning. You're, yeah. you're, that's understandable. But now, you know, we're into the fourth set. It's that That's quite the interesting development. Yeah, it is. Yep. So 16-15. What is what is Amber Miller, the OG coach, say here during this timeout is they've, they've got sort of all the momentum here. Well, yeah, but you, you want to talk about your serve receive too, though, because they have given up six points on – on aces, so so you know, keep it going. Let's let's you know, let's let's get to 20 before they do. But at the same time, let's 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 really sharpen up our serve receive. Addison Bellman the serve long, and we're tied at 16. 11th, 11th missed serve for Otto Glandorf today. Lauren Teeman on. She's third on the squad in aces which is an important thing to note here in this fourth set. Ball poked back up high in the air. Van Oss rolls it over. It's out. And the lead now back to St. Henry with a one-point advantage. And everybody was yelling out for St. Henry that time. Sent away by Lauren Tiemann. Ball saved, Gels blocked by Kimmett and down. Soccer, the, the OG soccer team like that one. <laughs> we, we haven't really had a whole lot of oppor kill opportunities or attack opportunities for either side. Chris, we, you mentioned you know these points have come pretty early in the in the rally, and that's one of the really the first times here we've seen somebody get an opportunity to get a bump set and spike. Whirling, back set. Off of Van Ossen down. Ellie Fullen camp the kill to make it 18-17. Lead back of the Redskins. That's her ninth kill today. So St. Henry serving with the lead. With Gels. Tough receive. Big swing from Maya Ellerbrock. Saved by the Redskins. Tipped over by Whirling. She's called for a double contact, but she only uh, no, got a point on the floor. I think she uh, under the net. I was going to say, I think yep. she only hit it with one hand. I don't know how you get a double contact there, but we're tied at 18. Here in this tight fourth set. Kimmett serving down the line, dug out by Busher. Whirling past to knee camp. Nearly. Down, but the Titans get it back over after the block. Set into the back corner, dug out by the Titans. Swing from Ellerbrock, still saved. Titans got the whistle, and that's four hits. And that's allowed to call late. The officials communicate on that. So if one official doesn't see that it's four, the other one can give the signal, or they can verbally communicate. And that's okay that that's called late. For, for 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 you, I don't know if you saw these St. Henry faithful. They were they were out of it. That's four four. I, I could hear him even with my phones on <laughs> headphones on. Ellerbrock to swing up high, down hard, but Look too how far. long on the dig. That's how hard that was hit. It was dug clear back across the uh, behind the end line. So tied at 19 here in set number four. As Clara Wishmeyer on to serve for OG. Knuckleball 
off the basketball hoop and the ace for Wishmeyer. That's her first ace today. 2019, and really when you get to this point, every point is just pivotal that Ottawa Glendorf trying to stay alive, stay alive and force a fifth set where St. Henry wants to close it out now. Wishmeyer, the serve. Busher whirling. Knee camp the cut. Dug out by Van Oss. Ellerbrock rolls to fry and she gets it in the net. But your point is well taken because since there is a point on every serve, it's a two-point swing, really, yeah. either as opposed to, you know, in basketball, if it doesn't count, well, the other team doesn't get points for it. <laughs> right. Serve from the Redskins. Pass over to Fry, the lefty cuts it down. Can the Redskins get it back over? Ryan Busher does get it back over. Back set. Ellerbrock down. The Busher couldn't get that one. 21-20. Titans the one-point lead. Ellerbrock's third kill in this set. Ellerbrock now back to serve. St. Henry is playing to win. OG is playing to go to a fifth set. Ellerbrock the high toss and swing. She's what got the ace. 22-20. Uh, and Garrett, that ball's coming right at us as we're on the end. If we can see that curveball yeah. spin on that. That's a tough serve to receive. One and and she's been able to change it up. You, you, you mentioned earlier the top spin just tugs that volleyball down, and then when you can get that side action, it just exactly. it makes it so difficult to receive yep. that serve. So 22 20 here she in has set ten four. aces today. Ten aces yeah. is uh, uh, that's a it's a pretty astronomical number, isn't it? Yeah, I can say, and none in set two. So 22 20 here in the fourth set. And, and uh, uh, is that a good time out there by Trisha Rosenbeck just to try to break this momentum up that, you know, you're, you're down by two now that you, uh, you got yeah. the timeout, you might as well use it. It is. It is a good place. I, I never liked to call on a timeout when the team had 24. I think it's too late mm -hmm. when he gets to 24 and lets us maybe tied at 24. But I think you're better off uh, calling it now than trusting your girls that they can, that they can play uh, tough in the 20s. So Ellerbrock serving with a two-point lead. And ten aces on the day. Ball dug back to Ottawa Glandorf's side. Ellerbrock will attack from behind the ten-foot line. Nearly got it down. Busher, the pass to knee camp. She gets the kill. That's her fifth kill in this set. Mia knee camp makes it 22-21. And now she'll come back to serve for the Redskins. St. Henry looking to close out today's match. Niekamp with dig from Ellerbrock. Back set to Fry. And a big swing by the six-foot freshman. Makes it 23-21. She had a nice afternoon. She's got uh, 11 kills. So Reese Van Oss now serves for Ottawa Plandorf. Two points away from a set victory and a forcing of set number five. Van Oss down the far line. Gels whirling right back to Gels. She gets it just a bit long. I thought that might have just hit that line. Well, but we're, we're about 80 long. feet away, so it's hard oh, for us I, to tell. But we I, got I, eagle I, eyes up was, here. Chris. Yeah, well, we, yeah, 2020. <laughs> so set point for the Titans, 24-21. Van Oss, the high lollipop serve. Pusher, the dig, whirling. Pass to Gels. Off. Nice dig. Van Oss, the dig. Ellerbrock rolls down, and the Titans win game number four. We'll go to a fifth set when we come back as we step aside. 25-21. Set four goes to OG. Fifth set action coming up on WOSN. Today's scoreboard is presented by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. Set number five here between Ottawa Glandorf and St. Henry Redskins won the first two. Ottawa Glandorf takes sets three and four to force a set number five, and we're only playing to 15 here, so everything gets a little ratcheted up a little earlier in the set. Yeah, and that set, uh, 
Set four, Ottawa Glandorf, nine kills, seven aces. Wow. Uh, five different girls had an ace serve in that, and Ellerbrock had four kills. For the Redskins, they had seven kills uh, and six aces. Um, Gels had three of those aces, and Niekamp had five of the kills. And when you look at, you know, five different servers with aces, that, that that's more of a, a, a indicator that something's off on St. Henry's end than it, well, than it was just something went perfectly for OG, right? I agree 100%. It's just hard to tell exactly, but with the number of ace uh, serves, there were 13 ace serves in that. Both teams let down a little bit in their serve receive. So I don't know if they're just a little little tired. Uh, you know, I'm sure they were all at the football games last night and, mm -hmm. and maybe uh, getting to that fourth set, they're a little tired. I bet they pick it up, though, in set five. So me and E. Camp serves to begin set number five. Reese Van Oss. Ellerbrock rolls it over. Whirling. The set on drop gets the first kill to open set number five. Yeah, just her third kill today, but a good time for that. My on drop gets St. Henry on the board. One nothing here in set number five. Knee can't back to serve. Van Oss receives. Back set from Bellman. Poked over by Kimmett. Gells the swing and down. Tenth kill for Gells. Chloe Gells makes it 2 nothing Redskins. Manny Camp. Dug out by a diving Van Oss. Ellerbrock attacks off a Redskin and down. No, she had 18 kills last Saturday against the Redskins. She's got uh, 16 right now. Of course, that one was uh, just in, that in was three. It, that was in three <laughs> sets, right. So, Caitlin Kimmett serves. Good backup. Back set. Wendell tucks it inside the line. Molly Wendell the kill for St. Henry. Grows that lead back out to two. They've gone to window a few times here off serve receive, and she really hits well with that ball coming across her body. A lot of times right-handers have a hard time sit, hitting on the right side, but she she does a really nice job. Natural swing for her. Wire Busher the serve. Eller Brock spike blocked by the Redskins. Wendell and Fullenkamp combined to close the doors. And the lead is three. Busher, the left-handed serve once again. Knuckleball, dug out by Van Oss. Quick set, poked over. Busher the save. Gels will have to make a hard angle and does. Push to Ellerbrock, she pushes it to the floor. That's her second kill in this set. Four to two on the Structure Outdoor Ohio Mild scoreboard. I think a lot of the soccer parents must have come in too because the noise is really picked up. And it just looks a little bit fuller over there on the OG side. Clara Wishmeyer, the serve for OG. Gets it over and down. Just hits the net. It hits the floor to cut the lead to one. Yeah, the players have to think right now like it's 13 to 14. No, 14 to 13. Oh, Tip nice one-hand set. Busher. Gels up high, down hard. A nice one-hand set by Whirling, and then the set to the outside was a little bit to the end. It was almost a rip set, and uh, but Gels did a great job of hitting that. Lauren Tiemann serves for the Redskins. In that back row, dug out by Ellerbrock. Wishmeyer, the pass to Fry. She gets up. Dug out by the Redskins. Gels swings again. Off of Titan and down. She loves that cross-court hit. Timeout called by OG. We'll keep it here. Six to three in set number five. And Chris, this, is, uh, this has been a fun high school volleyball match. It has been. So yeah, six I mean, to it three. looked like St. Henry could, could win in three, but, uh, yeah. but here we are in the fifth set. In... 
and, and we talked at the at the start of the set that you know uh, when you're only playing to 15, it, it, things just get that much more intense that early. And at 6-3 here, this <laughs> this is an important timeout. Right, and and when we went to the rally scoring and and to 25 points and then 15 to win set five, there was a little discussion to start the scoreboard at 10-10, so that the girls would have the same feel for the score as they do. You, you right, know, when they, we go to 25, so we start with 10-10. So right now the score would be 16 to 13, and they have a feel for what that is. Where I know it, you rarely go to five, and so. Uh, but they decided not to do that and just, just go to 15, start, start with 0-0. Zero, zero. The team will serve once again. The Redskins with three-point advantage. Knuckleball. Ellerbrock will receive. She'll swing it over once again. Got out by Tiemann. Whirling the long pass to Gels. She left it along. A rare miss for her today. Marley Buttermeyer checks back in the ball game for Claudia Mang. And Maya Ellerbrock will serve for the Titans. Whirling the cross court pass. Busher rolls it over. Nearly got the kill and did. Ryan Busher the kill. Not surprising that that's her first kill today. <laughs> I'm sure she has a few on the season. She does have three ace serves. Just, I uh, just really like watching her play. Seven four. As Gels serves the ace. That's her seventh ace today. Eight to four, St. Henry, with the lead. Again, only playing to 15 here in set number five. Chloe Gell sends it away once again. That's a tough serve, and somehow the Titans get it over. Whirling tips it back over the net. Back set to Fry, tips it over. Dug out by the Redskins. Busher, knee camp, blocking down. Katie Kaufman got a lot of it, sent it to the floor to give the point to the Titans. That's their first block in this set, and it is the sixth overall. Eight to five, Reese Van Oss to serve for OG. In the middle of that back row, whirling, back set. Big swing by Ellie Fullenkamp gives the point to the Redskins. Tenth kill for her, and a really nice serve received by Tiemann. Nine to five, St. Henry trying to get to 15 first. Ellie Fullenkamp to serve after the kill. Back set to Fry. Didn't get a lot on it. Blocked. And it comes back. Tough to play from the Raptors. And a point goes to St. Henry. And they're now doubling up OG here in set number three. And a timeout called by OG. We'll step aside as well. 10-5 in set number five here on WOSN. St. Henry leads 10 to 5 in the fifth set. I'm Garrett Seawright, joined alongside Chris Lutold here on WOSN. We've got a fantastic high school volleyball matchup here on this Saturday afternoon. As Ellie Fullenkamp sends it away, and Ellie Fullenkamp gets the ace out of the timeout. And that's her fourth ace today. That volleyball just died once it, it got across the, across the net. It just hit an imaginary wall. Back set, Sienna Fry, the tip off of the Redskins and out. Twelfth kill for Fry. She's having a nice afternoon. <laughs> yeah, you got to you got to check in and out of the game within the ten foot line there. Coach Miller had to right. guide her over to the. We've done this. She's inside. Yeah, we've done this. Uh, you know, for all year. Claire Kreischer to serve. Whirling will tip it over, and Whirling the kill. Well, and that's one of those, you know, she didn't have any choice on that but to send that over. And that's her fifth kill. 12-6, St. Henry trying to close out the game of the match. Leading 12-6. There's 
Lydia Whirling will serve. Ooh. That's a tough serve, serve to receive. Van Oss the dig, the swing. Put right back down to the floor by Molly Wendell. The freshman climbs the ladder to put it on the deck. And now St. Henry two points away. Whirling awaits to send it away. High arching serve. Wishmeyer. To Pick the somebody the Redskins are in the net. Caitlin Kimmett got the swing, but right as she went to hit it, the St. Henry Redskins were in the net, so the point goes to OG. It's hard for us to hear that whistle uh, with yeah. our headphones on, but I, I thought I heard a whistle, and then I saw the signal for, uh, for in the net. Amory Young into serve for OG. Knee camp swings off of Young and down. So now match point for St. Henry at 14-7. And Mia Niekamp will come back to serve, looking to give the Redskins a victory. Well, they'll have seven chances to get it. The swing from Niekamp. Set. Eller Brock the swing. It's out. And that is how game number five ends. Just wide of the line. And St. Henry wins a five-set thriller. They take set number one, 25-21. They take set number two, 25-15. And then OG battled back. They won three, 25-18, and four, 25-21. And St. Henry wins set number seven, 15 to seven. Chris, what a fantastic high school volleyball match here yeah, today. Yeah, it was. You love five-set matches. Aren't, yep. aren't they exciting? I mean, there's pressure. It's exciting. And I know the girls love to play. And... Uh, and um, this is an important win heading into the tournament draw yep. tomorrow. So, so no matter who would win, that would look that would, it just adds a little bit more uh, to their credentials heading into the draw. Final thoughts from today's match, Chris? Um, well, you know, it was almost like two two matches. We had early on, we had St. Henry winning two. They seemed to control pretty well. They won that second set, 25 to 15. Uh, then. Three and four went to Ottawa Glandorf in that very odd fourth set when there were 13 ace serves, seven by OG and six by, by uh, St. Henry. Um, but just a really fun match to watch. There's just great players out there, yep. good coaching. So congratulations to the St. Henry Redskins. They win today 25-21, 25-15. They fall in set three and four, 25-18 and 25-21 and win set number five. 15 to 7. For our fantastic WOSN crew, Chris Ludholt, I'm Garrett Seelag saying so long from Ottawa Glandorf, where the St. Henry Redskins have been victorious here on WOSN.